Okay, now we're going to work on this uh, bottom door, um, door, D-O-W-E-L, or the, you may call this a roller, whatever. Um, I got this from uh, uh, Home Depot or uh, Lois. Uh, the size is uh, one inch and uh, a quarter diameter. And uh, you can, you can um, wait until this time to measure it, so you won't make uh, any. Uh, you, you will not uh, make any risk because there might be some size change. Like you have to trim off a little bit there, uh, the, you know, here. And so um, if you trim it now, you will leave about uh, one inch uh, extra for this uh, knob. You can see that it's a. Uh, like that. Um, then you, you mark this, uh, kind of mark the length of the scroll, you know, precisely based on the actual width of the scroll. Then you leave extra uh, inch, then you cut it out. Uh, you can uh, use a saw to, I use the hand saw to uh, cut around it, and then use a, a Chinese uh, cooking cleaver to uh, take out the margin and then use uh, this uh, knife, utility knife, to um, make it uh, rounded so I can put this back. I mean, before we do that, uh, before we, I finish, I let you see this detail. Like I dropped it with the same silk. Uh, you can use any leftover cut off uh, corners to do this. I just cut a round piece with a hole in the middle and put it inside, then drop it and the eye on. That's the best part. No, no glue needed so far. But later we'll use the glue for sure because uh, uh, this, you will see why. So after this, let me. You can also put uh, glue inside the, if it's not uh, firm enough. But I made the center a little bit uh, uh, tight so I can hold it without glue, I think. So it, it fits pretty well, right? It fits very tightly. Let me do it one more time. It's very close. Okay. okay. Now, you see why we have this uh, uh, we open this to the ceiling line and fold it. Very carefully near the end. I don't want to make any mistake. So this is the folding line. The bottom line, you want to fold it like that. So there's no silicone because we put a strip of the rice paper before you iron it. If you forgot that, you, you, you don't have any chance to make it up. That's very important. Okay, then you have to uh, align this roll, this uh, dual, and kind of uh, if I have to stand so I can see leveled with this line. That's very important. If it's like that, you will not hang very well. So you want to align this with that. Leveled, okay. I think you should leave some space. That's how you want to. You can see this line right here, so it's a parallel to this line, at least that line should align with that. Okay, now we need to uh, put, the, let me see, should I, yeah, just roll it back and uh, prepare for the pasting. I use a uh, kind of white glue. My daughter used it for a book binding project. I think you know that um, any office glue should help. I should uh, do the same. And uh, just 
brush it on the margin here. Let me put a piece of glass here so it's not going to stain the table. It's about one inch that, that you know the uh, width of this uh, this uh, door. That's what they call it. And uh, I also need to glue this part, but uh, I need to put another protecting sheets. And you, uh, it's very important that you don't need to do much because uh, um, you don't want to on this part it's, it's just the silk part so just enough to hold it to make sure these are firm. Put this side up first. And keep rolling all the way. All the way inside. That's why I have this piece of paper. So it's the glue is not going to stay in the painting, right? Whoops. And you can see why uh, we don't want too much glue on the silk because it may make it buckle. So you just need enough to seal the edge. And we'll use a strip to seal this line. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's the, that's the front side. So you won't, you you will see only the front this much. It could be a little more. When I measured the silk, I forgot this, so I uh, made it up with uh, one inch. It could be one and a half inch, maybe uh, next time uh, if I do it correctly. Uh, so we will use a little, little strip after this dry to seal this line like that. So even we show this line in the front, this should be nice. So it's not going to show this rough edge, okay? That's it. Okay, now let's turn to Painting over, and uh, I'll do the other side. Okay, the final step of uh, doing this uh, uh, hang scroll is to fix the uh, the upper door or the heaven, if you want. So here we have saved the space. 
with this. Then fold this uh, top line. Okay, this is the uh, extra rice paper p strip we added uh, before we iron on uh, to the backing paper, so there's uh, uh, they're not sticking together. And when you measure this uh, top piece, you need to leave like a, an inch, a quarter or something, uh, for this purpose. And this is the wood strip we're going to use. Um, you can get this in depart, um, in uh, hardware stores. You can get a round, a round strip like being like this. Uh, it's a uh, five eighths, and uh, I tried to make a shape like this. It's very painstaking to make uh, one side flat because on the front side you want it flat, on the back it could be rounded. Um, but uh, some people just use it you know, like a square shape. That's what I end up with because it's much easier to um, to handle. You can you can just round up the corner a little bit. You can do more uh, with a larger wood because uh, I bought this uh, not big enough. This is the same width. I think it's a uh, half yeah half inch. It should be a little more larger so you can round it round the corners. Okay, and also you need to prepare this end. I have some um, leftover um, silk that I used. So we, we just cut this into a square shape, cut the corner off, and then you kind of wrap this, and with the iron, uh, you can iron on. So these are very convenient. Very, uh, you just iron on, with, you can glue it without, uh, if without the silicone. Um, you, you need to have a string like this to hang, and also the ribbon, okay? So now I'm going to do the final assembling work. Uh, make sure this, uh, this uh, hanging side facing you, the top, okay? And, uh, let's see. So this bottom line aligns with the folding line. That's, a, that's about it. So I don't need this much. Let me cut that off. Maybe it's going to be fitted. So okay. I have got uh, the white glue and uh, with a brush to paste it. You also need to do the other side, but this time I'll save it. I'll do one side at a time. Uh, just to align this along the, the baseline. Okay, and uh, fold the bottom part. Uh, now you, you can see there's a little uh, Hook, hook, right? The the, the loop, the, the eye, uh, and the um, for hanging. So you need to make a hole. So we just fix this first. Fix the position first, and then I'll handle that. Cut a little hole. I already 
got a pig hole there because when I cut it, it has this, this accident. I can correct that. You can, you can use uh, um, any paste, thick paste, also to do this. Okay, now we do the upper side. We put the protecting here, so we can do the paste. We don't need much um, because the hanging power, well, for safety, I just paste this on, on this wood. Normally they do it on the silk, the back of the silk. Everybody has their own habit sometimes. Mm -hmm. I would do a little strip on this side because it, you don't want to wet the whole silk back because that will create an unevenness. You just want to have a strip of a glue to fix the margin. I'll take the extra out. Okay, I can fix the margin later. And just draw it. This is the, the front, this is silk. The top will be used for hanging. That's about it. Or you may ask how to make uh, the ribbon. Okay, here's how. You need to prepare a string like this. And uh, it's about the same length of this This. 20 inches in this case. And just insert that and uh, insert back. Yeah. Yeah. We need to make a line of the okay, I don't need to go through this only one to go through the first one. Yeah, that's about it. And then pass this one. Maybe let's do how to do it like this. And we can wrap the the head with a piece of uh, silk and just iron. We will seal it.
No, the ribbon. The ribbon is also about, uh, well, it's a little longer. Actually, it could be measured like this. One is long to wrap it, one just uh, enough to make a tie, a bow. So you can just tie it like that. And that's how you hand it. Chinese uh, don't do that, they just put it behind. But my student uh, client always uh, leave it in the front. That's what it looks like. Okay, final touch. Rough the edge with the supporting strip. One side first. Of course, the front side. the position first. And then sew it and then do the other side. In this case just on the edge with the iron. Also, the bottom. This uh, this is the last strip of supporting in and um, to cover this stem and on the bottom so fix one side first. Seamless. Good enough. Okay, so you can see how nice it is now. You can tell uh, when you take some pictures of the finished work. Uh, finally, we have finished uh, this uh, mounting scroll, hanging screw mounting project. Um, you can see how nice it looks like on the wall here in my living room. And uh, the best part of this is you can always uh, rotate it if you want to uh, exchange uh, with another scroll, you draw it to store like this. So it, it's very flexible. That's why uh, we like it. Uh, traditionally, it's very easy to carry, easy to store. If you have a show, you can put everything in the suitcase and carry on um, with your airline. So it's not uh, uh, permanent, uh, like a frame, uh, but it's different. You have to learn how to do it and how to carry it. You can basically just dust it off, no special care needed. Okay? And uh, finally, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Xu Da Tong for doing this uh, wonderful monkey, happy monkey year painting for us. And uh, thank you, Victoria, thank you, Lisha, thank you, everybody on YouTube for watching. Happy New Year, happy 
Monkey Year. Goodbye.